When describing the dimensional approach to the classification of a mental disorder or condition, you need to do it in a manner that clearly distinguishes it from the categorical method. And you'll remember that the categorical method includes the use of the DSM or the ICD. Categorical method focuses on the kind of problem a person has experienced, whereas the dimensional approach focuses on the extent to which the person has a disorder. A categorical approach places people into diagnostic categories. Dimensional approach doesn't. It places people in dimensions, sometimes seen as dimensions of personality. Thus diagnosis becomes not a process of determining the presence or absence of a symptom or disorder, but rather the degree to which a particular characteristic is present. So a categorical approach asks the question, yes or no, in terms of presence or absence of a disorder. A dimensional approach asks the question, how much, in terms of the severity of the symptoms. A dimensional approach ranks a disorder on a continuum based on testing of participants on their responses to a series of inventories. And a dimension is viewed as cluster of related psychological or behavioural characteristics that occur together. Thus, profiles on a number of dimensions can be established for the population. And for a mental health patient, the values scored on their inventories can be compared to the normal population, which enables the mental health clinician to grade the severity of symptoms on a variety of dimensions which enables a transitional approach. That is, symptoms can be monitored over time to determine the effectiveness or lack of treatment. Strengths of the dimensional approach, well, we get a richer set of data via the case-by-case -case approach as opposed to the categorical approach which simply tries to put people into diagnostic categories based on reported symptoms it classifies the severity of disorder, not just the presence or absence. And we're less likely to have stigmas from labelling under a dimensional approach. Weaknesses of the dimensional approach, well, the complexity and lack of uniformity in diagnosis means that we have a lower inter-rate of reliability in comparison to a categorical approach.